we see in this gospel this this sign that uh, sin paralyzes us. We don't often think of this, but what does sin do to our souls? It paralyzes it. It kills our soul. And more important than the physical healing was that spiritual healing, where Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. A lot of times in our world we'd rather have the physical healings though. And yet more important because what is it? It's eternal life that we're talking about. What good is it to enter to to have both of our hands and enter into Gehenna, right? As Jesus was saying using hyperbole, you know, if your hand caused you to sin, cut it off. And the Lord is saying to us Do you see? Do you see the incredible gift that I've given you? That you can have your sins forgiven. That God, in His mercy, entered our humanity. He died. The most horrific, painful death. So that we could have life. So that we could see how much God loves us. So we could see the transforming love that comes from our God. And yes, He does do miracles. He does bring healing to to all sorts of physical problems out there. But every person that Jesus healed in the Gospel, they all died. And in fact, some of His closest friends died pretty uh, horrifically as they were uh, crucified upside down and all sorts of other things. Uh, as they were martyred for their Lord. But because they had been healed inside, they gave of themselves generously and freely. And so the Lord is saying, I will come and I will forgive you. This great grace, of course, that He's given us in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. May we take constant uh, advantage of this sacrament. You know, not just a once every 20 years thing, and and not even just uh, once a year during the Easter season, which is required by law within the Catholic Church. But that we may regularly take part in this incredible gift of healing so that our souls may not be paralyzed, but that we may rise and walk Walk closer to the Lord.